far as the Bering Sea is away from most people, the Bering Sea is, is the source for over half of the seafood that's uh, caught in the United States. Greenpeace has a long history in Alaska. Actually, our, our first ever public campaign was in Amchitka in the Aleutian Islands to stop nuclear testing. And in a lot of ways, the, the campaign that we're working on now is similar to that. We're using deep worker submarines, and these are one-person submersibles. The subs are very maneuverable, so you can actually get within a, a couple feet of, of pretty much anything you want to look at. And with the gear that we have with the submarines, we've got high-definition video cameras, very powerful HMI lights, uh, we've got a sort of robot sampling arm. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty sophisticated setup. One submarine will be doing transects, so basically following a continual line up the, the canyon wall. The second submarine will be looking at this bigger stuff, some of the large foraging animals that we could see in the canyons. Last year, Greenpeace went to the Bering Sea to listen to native communities and get their impressions on what is behind the, the rapid changes that they're seeing. And out of those conversations came the idea to establish marine cultural heritage zones. And really the problem as they saw it was that these giant factory trawlers are taking enormous amounts of fish, which is prey for everything else, uh, including many of the species that they depend on. And so what you see in Alaska is these giant vessels that used to fish in the Atlantic. And they basically fished out some of those areas and now they, they feel like they can make more money in Alaska. In some ways this, this really is going to be groundbreaking uh, together with the new fisheries laws that we have. This will be the first time that uh, a conservation group has taken advantage of the new laws and actually gone out and, and collected the data. I think Greenpeace is still pushing ourselves. We're still looking for the best tools to, to do the job, to, to defend our oceans, to protect communities. And sometimes that's direct action, sometimes it's organizing people, uh, sometimes it's research and occasionally it's going to be taking submarines down into places where no one's ever been.